Hello, my darling dears. Yes, I'm outside again, and it's me, the super sexy spider storm. So, first of all, a little message for someone. Also, which you, you and you know exactly who you are, do not comment on my videos ever again. Otherwise, first of all, you will be reported to the YouTube admins, because your advice is not, your so-called advice is not wanted or welcome, and will not be tolerated. Or classed as such, because it's not advice, it's vulgar pieces of lies and bullcrap. Yes, I said bullcrap, or bullshit. So take that. Now, to regular subscribers, commenters who openly positive and constrict, const, excuse me, <laughs> constructive criticisms, very, very welcome indeed to have, welcome to the channel, welcome to the videos. So why am I outside again? Well, because I won, failed like it. Now, I'm wearing a lovely jumper again, which I'm sure some of you will have seen before, which is Beauty Queen, which all drag queens are beautiful, with or without makeup. And yes, in annoyance to annoy that asshole once more, I have seen a drag queen two years ago at Gay Pride here in Bristol in the United Kingdom, which was on the second Saturday of July, uh, well, it was a different date because it was two years ago, uh, but she was ha hardly wearing, wearing hardly any makeup at all, and she almost had a full-on beard, not completely, but near enough. Maybe a little bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of glitter around her face, but... And her name is Ruby Rawbone. Anyway, so if he wants to say that, he should go and say that to her as well, what he said to me. He knows what he said to me. So yes, there you have it. Drag queens do not have to wear makeup. And this is more of a drag advice video again for kings and queens, although I know I called it drag queen advice on the previous advice video, like it, which was one of the earlier videos of the channel, and so on. But, um, well, let's put it this way. I uh, decided to do another one because there's some obviously advice issues I forgot to add to the original. So first of all, this first piece of advice is, well, drag queens do not necessarily have to wear makeup. Nor do drag kings have to not not wear makeup, you know. <clears throat> it is up to the drag king or queen how we make ourselves look. Close to the opposite sex as we possibly can. That's all we can do. And if makeup is far too expensive, then you do not need to make it. Wear it or make, if you want to be a drag king, you do not need to wear the makeup to make yourself look as as masculine as possible or to the drag queens you do not have to wear makeup just to look or make yourself look as feminine as possible all the main things that matters are is that you embrace the persona of the sexuality of the form you wish to impersonate for example so as i have told you on the other previous videos i am a female impersonator professionally that's the professional term for it for a drag queen now, now, so, um, so that, so yes, as long as you do that, and of course, drag, drag kings are male impersonators, so yes, so as long as you, uh, whether you're impersonating men or women, whichever sex you are, not in, when you're not in drag, doesn't matter. Uh, what, um, matters is that uh, you, uh, so I wanted to see my tie, tiara, had, my beautiful black sparkly tiara had fallen off or not. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what did I, what, 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 what was I saying? Oh yes. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, so the main thing that matters is that, well, the drag king or queen impersonates every form of the opposite sex she or he is trying to impersonate. So, Femininity for the drag queens, masculinity for the drag kings. So, for the femininity for the drag queens, that means walking in high heels. So, wearing actual ladies' shoes and actual high heels, and actually knowing how to walk in them, and walking in them imperfectly. Maybe a little stumble here and there, but, well. Also, and for the drag kings, walking in men's shoes, wearing them. Walk, and so, back to the drag queens. Drag queens, wearing ladies' clothes. So, putting on some, perhaps, maybe fake boobs. And then wearing those clothing that are womanly clothing in the woman in clothing department and so on and so forth, costumes and whatnot. Um, 
women's what else? And then again with the drag kings, same thing for a men for if you want to impersonate a man. So again, wearing men's clothing. Maybe men's underwear, maybe you know, if you really want to. Again for drag queens the same thing. If you really want to wear ladies' underwear, go for it. I don't, but that's just me. Not saying that I don't wear underwear, but I don't wear ladies' underwear. And I don't wear men's underwear. And I won't go into that little secret right now, and I wear I might do it at Gay Pride. Talking of Gay Pride this year, on the 14th of July, here in Bristol, in the United Kingdom again. Gay Pride this year. So, yes. So, I have got, sort of got myself a makeup artist. Now, he is actually going to, now, he's not, doesn't live in Bristol. He does not live in Bristol, although, like me, he does live in the UK. He has done drag before. He has worn makeup when he has done drag before. But, um, now, he's going to be, do me, be doing my makeup for me. And some of the makeup that I'm going to be wearing means that my skin colour tone, well, that's going to change. I hope I will be able to do a special video upload of me at Pride on YouTube, maybe a little bit of a walk there or something. I don't know what he's going to be wearing, my makeup artist is going to be wearing for um, Pride, whether he'll be in drag or not himself, uh, or he'll be, you know, going as himself. <laughs> oh, he knows who he is, but he is not... I. I don't think I've ever commented on any of the videos, or for that matter, um, uh, subscribe to the channel yet. But there's still plenty of time. But yes, anyway, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, but I'm still doing the videos, still having a good laugh, and enjoying myself immensely, because I'm not me, you see. So that's why, uh, so a lot of drag kings and queens they do drag as well, even if they got another career. As a sort of, of a lot of these things, sexual or non-sexual, and it's not always about sex, you know, but as an escape mechanism, a sort of escape from the mundane. So, 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 so you know. So it's a sort of, so it's a sort of, and it can, of course, boost your confidence because you, 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 you. Dress up as someone else, basically. And that's what acting is all about, whether you're a film or television actor or both, because I know a lot of film and television actors do both, television and film. And they're not, you know, they're not the real them. So, for example, maybe David Warner or, um, yes, I said David Warner, or maybe Peter Capaldi or, uh, let me think, Jodie Whittaker or Michelle Gomez or Catherine Tate. When are their characters, whether it's comedy science fiction, historical dramas, anything. They are not the character, they are not their selves. They are the character they have been asked to play, or perhaps maybe invented themselves, like most drag queens and kings do. So there are many drag queen kings out there. <laughs> there are multitudes of drag queens out there too. And well, um, anyway, so, and you don't want to know who said that my, I am beautiful without makeup and even when in drag? That was my own personal boyfriend. So, yes. So, I'm not going to listen to people who say that I am not attractive and I need to wear makeup because I don't believe I do. If my boyfriend thinks I don't need to wear makeup, then neither do I. Whether in or out of drag. And that's the end of it. But, I, yes, I'm going to be having a good old laugh, continuing in doing this and show my boobies off. So, yep, show me boobers off. Show me boobers off, and I'm still not wearing a bra. That's right, this is the only, well, probably one of the only drag queens who don't wear a bra. But as you can see, I'm still wearing, I've still got boobies. So, yes, I do, I am definitely a woman when I'm in drag because I have boobies. Or, should I say, boobies. <laughs> or, breasts to be, well, cleaner. Or shall we say, um, not clean, but um, give them their so-called proper name. That's what the doctor will call. That's what sort of medical professional will call them. Still, I think there's not much more I need to say. But I hope to be doing more videos for you soon. Now, I don't know if I'll have the energy to do another one tomorrow night, but we will see. Who says I'll be in my uniform? That's just a little something for information for all of you. But I've got some work to do now, so ta-ta and love you all as always, my darling dears. Bye-bye.